this is my wallet to 200 it and it hasn't appeared on my channel as much as I'd like and it's mainly due to when I turn it on it has some extra noises and this is common for this piano but I know we can do a lot better than this a lot of people do replace the amps with these with aftermarket ones and I really probably should just do that I'm going to try and sort it out. I'm going to try and get it the best I can. People have made great records with this amplifier, so maybe I should be able to do something half decent. So let's remove the knobs, undo some screws and open it up. Obviously this is a high voltage electrical equipment, so do so at your own risk, do your own research. But let's have a look inside. The main amplifier. On this we've got quite a few electrolytic capacitors and these kind of dry out over time and they're considered to be like a short lifetime component although they have got better as time has progressed and I don't think these are necessarily the older just as preventative maintenance I'm going to replace these to see if that helps with the noise and also see if it improves the sound so all of these blue ones are going to get replaced there's quite a few around the board and I'm just going to take my time be careful with it try not to cause any any issues as I go around it and my plan is just to see if changing these capacitors one by one or set by set can reduce the noise so I've replaced all of the blue ones and the plan now is to plug it in and see if it still generates that same level of noise so we are still getting a good amount of noise and there probably is some quick ways to fix this but I'm just going to go around this step by step and try and regenerate this piano the best I can. So next up we've got these large filter gun capacitors and these take the power supply once it's been rectified into a DC and filter out any noise. The modern equivalents are much smaller and to be honest I probably could have put bigger ones in, ones that matched in size and that would help but as we find out these weren't really an issue or weren't the cause of the noise. So yeah still getting plenty of noise plenty of ground but that's fine so next up we've got these I think believe the polyester capacitors and these filter what the 150 volts that sits on the read bar so I've replaced these with, with modern equivalents and once more we're still getting plenty of noise but that's not an issue still plenty of things to kind of work through and to improve with this amplifier Maybe I could have done this first, but we've got these potentiometers at the front and back and these control the volume of the piano and also the volume of the tremolo. Now in mind, the tremolo would actually increase the volume of the piano. So that back one needed to be adjusted and that did reduce the noise quite a bit. That tremolo was getting pushed to, to a limit where it shouldn't have been. And as we hear now, it's much more signal than noise. It's still not perfect. But I would say definite improvement. Okay, so now we've built it up, if we listen carefully, there's like a fizzing metallic noise that rings as a note rings out. So we need to try and address this next. I do have lying around a, a vintage vibe replacement preamp for a while it's a 200 a so rather than messing around too much with the preamp I'm just going to drop this in and then maybe later I might do a back to back to kind of compare them but this has all got new components on new transistors so it should rule out quite a few components that would cause that distortion so I've switched it over and then if we let a note ring out we're still getting that metallic noise. So that rules out all the components on the preamp. So it must be on the main amplifier board. So one way to kind of have a look at this is to use like your door as a method of looking at the, the wave shape and almost using it as like an oscilloscope. We've recorded a note and if we zoom right in, we can see what it's actually doing really close up and in detail. Now if we do it 
if we look quite early on in the note, we see this weird S shape as it crosses like the, the equilibrium. And this looks to me to be some type of crossover distortion. And that would explain why we're getting this metallic ringing noise. So on the schematics of this amplifier board, it specifies that at the biasing point, we should have 160 ohms. So checking that, I am quite a bit off that. And resistor 58 on my piano is put in there to kind of correct for any biasing issues. Now, oddly, removing that did put it perfectly back to where it should be. So I, I did spot this through an old Vintage 5 video, so I've linked that below. So if we zoom in on a new note, let's see if we get that same issue. This is like a completely different wave shape now, isn't it? It's really smooth as it goes through that equilibrium point at that zero volts point. And if we look further down once more, it's quite a nice wave shape. It's completely different to what we had before. So let's have a listen. This is the original note. Really metallic noise ringing out. That's, that's a pretty hard to listen to. And then a new note. So we're still getting some noise in there. And I think that's the way I've currently got my uh, ground connections in my studio. They're definitely not helping. But we will improve that in the next video. We're going to look at how we can protect the power supply from the, the signal to try and separate any noise that's coming from that. Because it's clearly a 60 or 50 hertz home coming from a power supply or grounding issue. But yeah, that's it for this time. Until next time.